Remember this, guys? Um, from the Nina Garcia unboxing. Yeah. Well, it looks like today we got another quarterly. Yeah, but this time it's from Grace Bonnie from Design Sponge. So it's a different influencer. I have really high hopes for this box because what? I really like Grace Bonnie and I love Design Sponge. Ooh, nice. So how much did it cost? This was, I think, about a hundred dollars. Okay. So like the Nina Garcia. <laughs> The value, it's a waste of money. <laughs> the value of the item should sit somewhere around $250 or $300. Should. Well, I have a better feeling about this because I don't know this woman, but Nina Garcia, I'm just like, no, though. They did just a regular box, and it says, packed with radness in LA. Oh, I will. Okay, there's some... <laughs> I can, like, stripe no. deeper <laughs> The fun stripe pattern on these candles makes them feel less stuffy and formal than traditional tapers. Whether you're lighting them for a romantic dinner with your sister, or creating a <laughs> or creating <laughs> such a monster, well, like, who else are you having dinner with, honestly? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or creating a relaxing mood for a weekday bath, these will become instant favorites. Who would take a bath with taper candles? <laughs> Maniac. I just like in a candelabra though. I don't even <laughs> <laughs> Liberace though. <laughs> These are so Liberace though. I like them, but yeah, you're not gonna like you gotta, in a bathroom. You gotta style them. Health and safety though. <laughs> oh my God. They're like batando. I hate it when you have pointed <laughs> objects. I think they can be nice if they're in like nice holders. A candelabra on. though. I think <laughs> I actually think these are adorable. I'm not even hating because I think they're really cute. Okay, next. No, they are adorable. You just like, you, next. you can't do these without holders. Yeah, so you get holders. But like, that defeats the purpose of spending $100 on a box though. I wonder if there's, maybe there's holders in here. All right. Doubt it. Oh no. Oh, I see what's next. I see what's next. Um, these are cotton and flax coasters. If you're interested, uh, cottonandflax.com, blah, 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 gray and white coasters, practical, pretty, whatever. Here's my coral. I like, it. I feel like this is a nice small business. Okay, here's my problem with it though. For a coaster, which is something you can assume will at least have a drip of something or get wet, to do fabric seems totally insane to me. Are there more? There's two. Okay, coasters typically come in a set of four. I know. <laughs> it's like two candles, two coasters. It's like we don't all live in a world of two. Ooh, this is powder. amazing. Ooh, that's cute. Oh. Mmm. Oh, I love that. That's gonna be the one. That's gonna be our hundred dollar soap right there. Wary Meyer soap from WaryMyers.com. I've admired Linda and John Myers for years. Everything they design from their Portland main studio is fun and useful, but still whimsical. These soaps showcase my favorite patterns, stripes, and remind me of miniature Joseph Albert paintings. I don't know who that is. I don't know either. We ain't You're not from LA. It smells like the Grand Floridian. Love it. I was pretending That's to gonna be good because it's glycerin. I was pretending to put this in my mouth and I accidentally touched it with my teeth and it does taste like sea salt. <laughs> I have high hopes for this. Maybe. Next. Illume. Oh no. Okay, wait, guess what you think it I is. I know what they are. They're guess. matches. They're called Illume and they make a noise. <laughs> Chicklet. I don't want expensive <laughs> matches. This is an item I would really this like to cheap out on. This is unbelievable. I love the matches. You're, you're a sucker for this. Uh, when I was in college, I had a professor. Diet Pepsi break though. <laughs> I'm really thirsty. You should try water like once in your life. <laughs> when I was in college, I had a professor who not only collected matchbook artwork, but created tiny masterpieces on the inside of their packaging as well. Ever since the discovery, I've collected decorative matchbooks whenever I find them in design shops or at flea markets. This set is beautiful enough to leave out on the counter and would make a beautiful companion gift to a handmade candle. <laughs> Who makes a handmade candle? You know what? What these are honestly is you leave them on top of your toilet 
<laughs> and anyone, someone, you know, relieves themselves, they strike a match. That is the only time you use a matchbook in life. <laughs> Just leave them in your bathroom and watch them disappear. <laughs> I always leave matches in my bathroom and then suddenly I'm like, how do I have no more matches? And it's like, oh yeah, it's part of being a good host. Get it. I feel so bad for you. Does this hurt to just watch your money go down the drain? Does it pain you? <laughs> from Paris. So it was flown over on a plane, so deal with that. Christmas green tea. <laughs> I first found Christmas tea when I was looking for something special to give my mother. I found these beautiful patterned tins and hoped the tea inside would be as decadent. And it was. <laughs> Kuzmi teas are rich, high quality teas that I keep around for all sorts of occasions now, from quiet nights into special dinners with friends. Their winter blends are a great alternative to coffee or hot chocolate. I just love tea. I though. just like love this Cosme tea though. Cosme. Cus Cosme tea. Oh, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> person but that is not motive like that is not this is gonna be a gift you guys <laughs> no <laughs> it's a little notepad <laughs> no they are scamming you rifle floral composition notebook from riflepaperco.com Anna Bond is one of the design community's brightest stars, and her patterns, based on her hand-picked artwork, are always upbeat and beautiful. I love this playful spin on a traditional composition notebook with flowers in place of the expected graphic design. This could be really cute as part of a gift. <laughs> And only do those giant taper candles from now on. Carry them around the apartment when we get up in the night to be. I have to say that so far, and I see what's coming next is not good. Um, I think it could be cute. Let's see. We're pulling I think it out of the box. <laughs> it's a cutting board. Yeah, I know. It's cute, and it's a really good size. It's it very, looks like it's a very Geisha fan. <laughs> Stop! I would just use that to serve appetizers. This is your style, that little. Yeah, I love this. Thing. I really do. I'm not sure I will do quarterlies <laughs> anymore. I mean, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Guys, if you want more quarterlies like this video, give it a thumbs up because Jill needs to know that we need this again. If only for my entertainment alone. It is kind of worth it just to see you smile. I feel like, how about for your birthday, I just get myself a quarterly box. We love you guys. Do you love them? I don't even know them. <laughs> I don't know you like that. I love you Take guys. Take me out for a steak dinner and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> just like not looking for anything serious right now, but like if it happens to like, Something good comes along, like, <laughs> says every guy ever. Good night. Love you.